This is a video of our final project for CFD for Dr. Packy. My name is John Hong. And, and I'm Sayyid Habib. This page is a quick introduction of CFD. CFD stands for Computational Fluid Dynamics and it's a tool for generating solutions regarding fluid flow and measuring physical properties such as velocity, temperature, pressure, density, and viscosity. And there are many different software, but for this design, we are using Fluid ANSYS 19.1. You are a serious engineer on a serious mission to design a better product with optimized performance, to reduce development costs and get your product to market faster. It's time for a serious CFD simulation tool. It's time for ANSYS. The most advanced companies in the world are deploying simulation in a big way to meet and beat market demands. Because CFD delivers results. But CFD is no longer just for rocket ships and racing cars. Now simulation tools are being used by more companies and by less specialized engineers across a broad range of industries and products. They are discovering the increased accuracy, functionality, and expandability of serious CFD. Solutions that provide greater insight, giving engineers greater confidence, and the ability to reveal unexpected behavior. Solutions from ANSYS let you innovate and shorten the design cycle for more optimized product performance. The investment in serious CFD is worth it. Just ask the engineers at Aztec. They used CFD to find a configuration they never previously considered. As a result, they improved performance, lowered emissions, and reduced costs. Then there are the advantage of using CFD is that on computer we can easily change the geometry of our prototypes, which saves a lot of time and money than the physical models. We can also investigate the flows that are not easily measurable by humans. Some disadvantages are solutions approximation as it is an idea of reality based on assumption of flow and boundary conditions. Some applications of CFD that it can be used in many types of industries such as aerospace, automotive, power generation, petroleum exploration, medical research, meteorology, and astrophysics. The original design had a lot of heat being lost at outlet because of less obstruction. The gas at tube inlet needs to be heated to a temperature where it exists in both liquid and gas phase to be able to fill the LPG cylinder. Initially, the gas is at negative 44 degree Fahrenheit. Due to the poor design, the company was utilizing a lot of energy to heat the water coming to shell inlet. Our goal is to design the new heat exchanger in a way with low power consumption. We can keep hot water inside by obstructing its path, therefore providing equalized temperature throughout and have an effective system. Because an LPG cylinder, it needs to exist as a 80% liquid and a 20% gas. This is the original design for the heat exchanger that the company provided us. And this is the modified design. We added the straight baffles and increased the number of baffles. And for the second design, we changed the geometry to a donut hole style and increased the number of baffles. This is the de design one geometry that we made on a fluid ANSYS. And this is the design two geometry. Here's the mesh for uh, the design one. And uh, the total number of elements in both meshes are 148,000 and the nodes are 75,697 and the mesh for design 2 all triangular method was used on the whole body and uh, to a refinement of 3 and the edge sizing was done on the tubes and baffles in our setup we used transient pressure based the fluid for shell we used water liquid for tube it was propane gas at the energy equation activated and laminar viscous k epsilon equation 2. The inlet temperature was 150 degree Fahrenheit and the inlet velocity was 5 meters per second. And for the tube, the temperature was negative 44 degree Fahrenheit. The mesh size was 148,000 and the nodes were 75,679. We used the time step of 0.01 with 200 steps and 20 iteration per step. 
After running the simulation and result, we have the pressure contour for design 1, a pressure contour for design 2, the temperature contour for design 1, and the temperature contour for design 2, and the pressure vector for design 1, the temperature vector for design 2. We have a velocity vector for design 1 and a velocity vector for design 2. As we can see from the results, the temperature vectors a comparison for both of the designs we can see that temperature is evenly distributed and it's much better in design 2 and from the velocity vectors we can see how the baffles are restricting the flow as part of the design team our task was to design baffles for a heat exchanger for our employees the problem was that it's too much heat loss as at the outlet costing the employers much more than they expected Baffles are flow directing or obstructing vans. A baffle is designed to support two bundles and direct the flow of fluids for maximum efficiency. Baffles increase heat transfer in two ways. First, they force flow to cross the tube bundle instead and in this way prevent stagnant sections. Secondly, they increase the shell side velocity which corresponds to more turbulence and increase heat transfer. We have two different designs for the baffles. The first one is straight pipe design and the second one is donut and hole. Our goal is to design a heat exchanger and CFD program and use two different baffle designs and see the flow of the pressure to determine which one is more efficient to reduce heat loss for employees and maximizing profits. After running the simulation, it has seen that design 2 is more efficient in restringing the fluid flow.